Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on. We came here last time after coming from an island in that direction. It had a little island lut. We had a little bit of a problem landing here, but 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 we, we made it across mostly in one piece. The gyrocopter is still very much in the middle of the raft. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, we made a cargo carrying raft that could fit a gyrocopter. And we've been carrying it around the South Pacific because why not? It's kind of like... I don't know, it's kind of like Gyrocopter the Musical? I don't know. Anyway, we came to this island last time. We took out a lot of the wildlife. Uh, we built ourselves some bits and pieces. I'm going to pick up the bed. I'm going to pick up the lanterns. Uh, we did get some treasure, but uh, there's not really much there I want. I want. So I'm going to put the bandages in my pants. We've got a bunch of stuff. We did get some water last time. So what we could do... Let's have a little drink of the water. Uh, there's plenty of fuel in there. I'm going to leave the fuel. So it's like, well, why would you do that? Why would you build some stuff and leave it on the island? And the answer is, if we come back here in the future, at least we know that we have uh, food and water. I'm not going to be able to take that, but I will put the bandage in there and I will put the, uh, the bed in there. So then I can take a bit of shark meat. Uh, yep, eat it. There we go. So we're tippity top on uh, food. We may as well do the water from. There we go. Tippity, uh, tippity top on water, food. SPF is a little down, but that's not a problem. Uh, we've got a couple of lanterns in our pants. So what we're going to do is uh, see if we can get over there, I think, with that shipwreck. Going to drop this. Going to. Oh, I hate jumping in the water and that, those, that bubble noise. Because that is the same bubble noise that sharks make. Uh, we're going to swim out, and then we're going to swim in this direction, because what we're going to need to do is move the nose ah, ooh, ah, of the raft around, like like so, and then huh, get up, get over here, allow us to drift sideways a little bit. Oh, it's over there anyway. Um... Alright, because there's a wreck in front of us. I think we're okay at this point. Give it full right rudder. And hopefully we don't hit anything. Ooh, I didn't save before doing any of this. So if the gyrocopter takes it upon itself to start wobbling around, what it can do is flip the raft. Stop the raft. Put the raft on what would be the bottom of the ocean. Bad things can happen with a physics object and another physics object. If we're cutting across the waves, which we're kind of doing, it's not so bad. So if we're going with the waves, it's not too, too bad. If we're going against the waves or across the waves, well, have fun with that. So uh, what what made you build an aircraft carrier and then take it around the Pacific? I don't know. I thought it would be a fun idea. I thought it would be a fun idea. The other problem is that when you're going along like this, the, um, the, hmm, have we been here? This kind of feels familiar, but then after a while all islands feel familiar. This one? Oh no, we've been, I'm pretty sure we've been here. Oh wait, 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 we must have been here. Um, yeah. Yes, we have been here. Oh no, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Well, oh, keep an eye out for snacks. Keep an ear open for snacks. Um. Yeah, I think we've been here before. Oh, I don't know. So one of the things you do is you you put down a little campsite stuff. But hey, pig. Does it? It looks. Everything looks familiar. That's the trouble. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 of course we've been here. Because sharks don't just end up on the coast. Nor, whoop, nor the Great Whites. Oh, okay, so this is an island we've been on before. Great White with its articulated jaw. Hello, buddy. Uh, the Tiger Shark with its non-articulated jaw when it's dead. The hammerhead shark, the night snake, the giant crab, the giant crabs that are still alive. Okay, okay, okay. So I think we went in that direction. 
Yeah, we've so we've come in a big old circle. All right, all right. I'm not entirely sure where we are in the world. Where in the world is Carmen Santiago? Um, hmm. How 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 we do? So how do we do this? How do we how do we point ourselves in a different direction? Because I know we haven't been to that island. Oh, bums. This isn't good. Right, okay, fine. I got an idea. I got an, I got an idea. Oh, lads, got an idea. So the reason there's a great white over there is because we managed to uh, use the... Oh, yes, we must have been home from this island. So we can't be that far away from wherever home would be. Uh, I'm going to push the raft kind of this way a little bit. Um, push the nose round, get, oh no, 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 stop moving under inertia, get on here. That should stop it from moving so much. And then we can just ease out of, oh crap, how many wrecks are here? I think we've explored all of these, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, 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 that was not good. Uh... That's exactly what I was talking about. So we didn't hit anything, or did we hit something? Did we hit something? Oh. Yeah, I think we might have hit something. Underwater. It looks like like a roof of something down there. Alright. Um, but it moved the gyrocopter, and the gyrocopter is now touching the side of the... Oh, I hate this. The gyrocopter has to be in the middle of the raft. Um, because if the raft stops under inertia, the gyrocopter will keep moving and will potentially mess up, literally ruin our day because the gyrocopter has the ability to sink the raft. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we go? Sort of. But also no. More importantly, no, but also kind of. Um, I wonder, what is the time of day? Oh, it's already nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. Do not like. So see if we can squeeze out through the shipwrecks. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yep, 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 yep. Give it full right rudder. No, that's left rudder. Ah, what am I doing? I'm being dumb. Yeah, there's another shipwreck down there. Oh, budge and fudge. Well, which way is this? Wait, what? Hang on a sec, which way are we going? Uh, I think, have we been there? I think we might have been to that island. I'm going to go this way. Oh, this is not good. This is not, this doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Let's, let's get a, around the waves. So if we go directly into the waves, the gyrocopter has a chance to start bouncing. And if it bounces, we're upside down. That is just it. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I've covered this in other episodes, if you want to go back and watch those. By all means, go back and watch those, it's absolutely fine. But if somebody hits the raft, or the raft bounces, or the raft hits a rock, that thing moves, it's not secured down. I would like a way of securing it down, just like attaching it to the ground. Or maybe having like a gyrocopter hook to make it, give it more utility. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to tow your raft around, or tow something around, or carry like an object from underneath the gyrocopter? Oh, that would be so good. That would be so, so good. Uh, we are giving it the business, though, so I'm hoping hoping the sea doesn't get it any more lively. Doesn't get more lively, more excited or animated. Don't even know what that was. All right, slam it in here and wonder, have we been here before? I might start having... Oh, uh, I think we might have been here before. Because there's nothing on this wreck. I might need to... I might actually need to scare it with a gyrocopter. I might... Oh, there's a giant pig. Let's go see if we can see signs that we might have been here before. If, we, if there isn't, then good, it's a new island. If there is... I think this might be a new island. Yes, look. Uh, turn the torch on. Go for a little swim. A little swimmy swim. Yeah, it's on. Un, un, uh, uh. 
unlikely that we would have uh, left a box out in the middle of nowhere. Excellent. Was there a poison? Yeah, there was a poison boy down there. So we are here on the shadowy side of the island. A new island. A fresh island for us to explore. To, well, swim back to actually. Because we're going to need to do that. <gasps> There's a shark out there. Because we're using TXAA, I can kind of see the pixels moving. W weird. Yeah, genuinely. I think that might... The way that's moving... Okay, so I'm using TXAA because otherwise the shadows get a bit jumpy. We're closer to the center of the map. The closer to the center of the map you are, the more stable the shadows are. Um, if the shadows are not... Uh, if, if the shadows are jumping around, the only... <gasps> Snake! The only way to get the shadows fixed is to uh, change your anti-aliasing to TXAA, but then everything gets a bit misty and a bit wibbly-wobbly, like timey-wimey. It's a bit strange. So there's a snake somewhere. Don't know where Snake is. Can't see him. Uh, it's nearly the end of the day. There's a fast shark out there, which I have a feeling might be a goblin shark by the way it's swimming around. I might explore that in the morning. There's also a snake. I can't see where it is. Don't know. They coil up and their shadows are all broken. There it is. It's in the grass. Which is a problem because we only have 11, 11 arrows. I have an idea though. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's... Let's... Uh, yeah, let's get ready for the night, because it's 5.30, the sun goes down at 6, and it goes down very quickly, because that's what happens on the equator in real life. But the sunset is too quick! No, 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 no. When, when the planet, you're on the bit of the planet that's spinning quickly, the equator, that's what happens. The sun just goes, ah, sploop, and then blah, 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 and then sploosh, and then it comes back up again. That's how the sun works. Also, you do need to do a bit of sacrificing in order for the sun to reappear, because if you don't, um, what can happen is the sun might just not appear for an entire day. And um, typically, in the olden days, it was things like, well, uh, he humans and stuff, but these days you can actually get away with tofu. It's a lot more environmentally friendly and a lot easier to clean up. Just, uh, yeah, just squeeze the water out first. So the sun has gone down on another beautiful day in paradise. There is a snack on the island. There is... There's a lot of stuff wrong with this island. But we haven't been here before. So what I'm going to do is drop the... Drop the... Drop the bed down. Uh, check our food and water is okay. Save. And then... Whoa, cancel. Okay, I thought I saw something moving towards us. But that was okay. Because when you sleep, you're locked in the sleep animation. But the creatures are not locked in the sleep animation, so they can attack you while you're kind of held still. So you need to be sure that wherever you're sleeping, you're safe. So we will now sleep. And we wake up on what we what would be a beautiful day in paradise. We kind of lost the lottery again. Um, so the lottery is you can wake up anywhere between like, I think it's eight, four o'clock and eight o'clock in the morning. It used to be that you woke up at 6, just as the sun was coming up. You can still wake up at 6, just as the sun's coming up, but I think it's half hour intervals. So you can wake up at 4, 4.30, 5, 5.30, 6, 6.30, 7, 7.30, and I think 8. If you wake up at 8, you kind of lose anyway, because you lose some, some of the day. So the sun is not going down, that's the moon. Very different, Don't need no, no sacrifices needed to get that back up again. But as the moon disappears down and what was a relaxing night, the sun is about to uh, about to turn up. We should really get the tofu on the go to uh, appease the sun gods. But there we go, this, the, uh, the clouds are back up in the sky, so that's nice. Right, I think what we need to do is wait until about 10 o'clock in the morning so that we can see what the heck is going on underwater because the, the water is still very dark at the moment. Uh, so here we hop up here. We do have a little bit of food and water, but what I think I'm going to do is whack a ration in the old uh, face hole. So ration, 
into the mouth it goes, tippity top up on everything, food and water is good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Snack is still there. We can take it out with... Hmm, one... Missed... Two. Okay. Can I recover the arrow? No. No, arrow is gone. That's a pain in the butt. These things have tiny little hitboxes. So, the night snake, not, I mean, kind of like a rattlesnake in the game. I don't know how much it really is like a rattlesnake, whether it's related to I've never really looked it up. Don't think it is. But that's how you hear them, so it's just a little, little game mechanic. Um, they were introduced to stop the player just running around like a mad person all over an island. Make people slow down and take take time to uh, take care of themselves. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is get some more ammunition. We can do that while the while the sun comes up a little bit more. Keep an ear open for any other snacks. So what we'll do is we'll take down this. Grab. Oh, we didn't grab it. Grab you. Move you over here. And then start wha whacking away. We'll start whacking away. Whacking away on the old lumber. There we go. Just give it a Give it a old, good old whack. And take the top off. We may as well. Okay. Uh, we are going to need some fibrous leaves. If we get two... Oh, I was like, there's a crab. No, there is a crab. He's kind of stuck. If we get two... Oh, hello. Uh, if we get two regular fibrous leaves before... There we go. Uh, before we take out a yucca, we know the yucca's got six fibrous leaves on it. We can just craft. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Craft the lashings without having to pick them up because when you're in the woods, it's kind of hard to see what's going on sometimes. So there's another yucca there, but if we get two, two fibrous leaves in our pants. No, it's not what I wanted to do. One and two. We can craft another f another four. Oh uh, no, another two to give us four. There we go. There we now we know. So those are all kind of in the right place. One and two. Excellent. So we now have four. We can go back. Ooh, how what is our axe looking like? 15%. Eee, that's not good. But we can now craft. Uh one, two, three, four. There we go, back to 14 arrows. 14 arrows. We should probably get some rocks if we're going to build ourselves another axe, because we'll need to do that. A refined axe? And they call it a mine. Alright. So we'll do that. Um, I could turn this into a flask. Or cut it open on the ground. Uh, I'm going to drop these guys here. We don't need them just yet. Nope. Please stay where you are. Right, so we're going to explore and see if we can find whatever the heck shark that was. I'm going to say it's probably a goblin. Yeah, by the sound of things, there is a shark in the area. I don't see... Well, I don't see where he is because of the... Um, because of the light. Uh, what is the time of day? 8.42. <gasps> there it is! Goblin shark! Knew it! I, I bloody well knew it! I bloody well knew it, I did! That's a deep water shark. You don't normally get those. So close to the land. So close to the land. Oh, and a hammerhead. Well, what do we do now? What do we do? What do we do? And they call it a mine. We could take out the hammer head. Day 60. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if they can get us if we're in the wreck. I don't think they can hit the wreck because the model will stop them doing it. Uh... <gasps> okay, let's let's whack, let's whack the goblin shark a little bit. Give him give him a reason to uh, not like us. Hopefully these ones won't swim through the island because we're closer to the center of the map. 
And you can tell that because the shadows are less weird. Uh, Alright, well he took two arrows and then buggered off. Three, one in, one in the nose. Oh, we're drowning. Drowning is not fun. Um, okay, good. Good. Four. I should technically only be eight for that lad. Uh, if we can get him when he's close to the island, then we can get the five question mark and six. Yeah, because the, the 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 hammerhead will just will just uh, seven. Okay, good. Now we need to wait for him to get a little closer. Ooh, do, I don't like this. Eight. Okay, Ooh, let's do a drive-by pickup. See if we can get our arrows out, and then we can uh, eight and eight six sixteen. So we wouldn't have enough for the yeah. We wouldn't have enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's goblin shark. If you wanted to know what a goblin shark looks like, it's that fellow. His eyes, uh, a bit ugly, bugly. I'm not entirely sure in real life they would go after a person, but I think they're a deep water shark. Well, no, I know they're a deep water shark. So they wouldn't typically be anywhere near us for us to interact with. Not like you go down the beach and find one. It's like, I'm going to go down the beach and find a goblin shark. You might find one washed up, but not, you know. Uh, okay, cool. Can we see if the... Uh, if the hammerhead wants to play, I think it might still be out there, but I'm not entirely sure because I, I don't know where its trigger zone was. Ooh, clay! A little bit of clay. Hmm. Not liking any of this. Not liking it. Yeah, I, I don't know where the trigger zone for the for the hammerhead is. So uh, I think you, you need to go out far enough for the sharks to spawn because otherwise they won't actually spawn. And I don't know where it is. It's called a, a, a patrol zone. A biz, biz, buzz? Biz buzz? Biz buzz. Uh, no, it's called a patrol zone and they, they, they do a little patrol. And then they might turn up, but they might not have the shark music with them. So if we go out a little bit and back to our back to the safety of the wreck. Uh, uh I'm not going down. I'm not seeing him, but it's now 11:08 and you, as you could probably tell, you can see for my well, you can see a significant distance. No, it's not it's not in the area. I guess if we had tagged him originally, it might have it might have uh, piqued his curiosity and kept him in the area, but it did not. So food and water is not too, too bad. Uh, situation is we've just taken out a goblin shark, so that's fun. Just have a little explore of the island to see what else is out there. There's likely to be another domestic shark, so there'll be... Uh, oh, hello. Hello. That, that, he's fast. He is very fast. I wonder if we can poke our head under the water and just see what's going on. Yep, there he is. One. And... Beep, 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 beep. Beep, Two. Oh, are you going to go in the island? Uh, missed three. I think three missed, yes. I think we just... I think we just shot the moon. Uh, three. Whoa. Four. In... Oh. Into the island a little bit. Five. Oh, there's a wreck there. Oh, weird. Um, come on, buddy. Show me your flippers. Mm, I don't know. I've lost count. I've lost count. Another one. Good hit. Good hit. Uh, good show. Good show. Don't don't swim off with all my arrows in you. Honk. There we go. So we've got plenty of good hits. Plenty of good hits. Okay. And he did swim a little bit into the island, but he didn't go straight full on, like, 
crazy island but because what they can do especially on the outer reaches of the uh, outer reaches of the world is just swim 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 through the island bit of a pain in the butt to be honest I think we'll end up with 13 arrows I think we'll end up with 13 yeah so yeah I definitely missed one uh, curious, curiously, there is a wreck out there. So if we preserve our stamina, we preserve the stamina. Now it doesn't mean there isn't going to be another another shark. Okay, I was just listening. Uh, is that a storm? No, twelve fifty. Okay, so it's still perfect time of day. Let's speed out there with all alacrity. Have a little look, make sure we're not about to get eaten in the butt. Uh, you can go down on this one, but I'm not going to because of air reasons. I don't want to. I don't want to get trapped in there. It used to. It used to be a bit of a murderous wreck that you could get trapped inside and then drown, and that is kind of a bit of an un unfunny way to go. All right, what do we get? Ah, oh, leather, that's actually quite useful. So what we managed to do is grab a bunch of... Oh, it's completely full as well. Um, grab a bunch of leather, bits and pieces, take out a snake, and just take out a bunch of sharks. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Like, the... The great white that we f we found on the other island that followed us in when we were using the gyrocopter. This lad here shouldn't. I mean, this deep water shark. You should only ever see them in deep water following the raft between islands. I think it's a bug. After the big world update, that they appear on islands and can follow you in. However, however, it is a cool. If it is a bug, it is a cool bug, because it does mean that you get to see sharks that you would not normally see. So being able to kite them to an island or having them around, especially if you just slept as well and they still, they're still kind of still there. So yeah, it's a, it's a good one. No articulated jaw. So the only one that has an articulated jaw is the Great White, especially when you've got a bean... Beans one round there, uh, face and neck with a bunch of arrows. Right, uh, refined axe. Ooh, we're gonna need to get another axe on the go. Hops that. What does it take to get another axe on the go? Um, uh, we already have Plank Station on Home Island. Okay, it is a crude axe, which is uh, two stone tools and a lashing. Because I was going to you know, whack that open and I was like, wait a second, wait a second. So two crude stone tools, oh, two crude stone tools. I was like, well, maybe we should have another, no, nope, it's not in there. And a lashing, okay. Drop this down. Um, so that was a stick, two, st uh, two tools and a lashing. We could do this. We've got plenty of stuff left in it. To, uh, to get that sorted, I'm sure of it. I think we need another bit of stone and then uh, leather to turn it into a refined axe. One, two, because the refined axe has lasted an awful, awfully long time, didn't you? Don't, don't. Oh, bugger! Uh, that's not what I thought I was gonna. That, 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 no. Oh, come on. I mean, we've got like 14% left. We could take him out. Ugh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I mean, this light can really seriously mess us up. Um, or we could just gun him down. One. We're not supposed to use this in the surface in real life. Two. What? Oh, I thought that was him. I thought he was Dunzo. I'm not hitting. I'm. Wait. What, this guy's. What is it with the land creatures and the hitboxes being terrible? Um. No, yeah, his butt is not a thing. Weird. So they don't have a butt. 
I mean, they, they do, but if you get it wrong... Yeah, we're down to 10, so we lost like 3 and it's now raining. Well, I mean, he brought it upon himself. I wasn't going to do that. But then he was just like, oh, you know what? I'm going to come and smash you around the butt. And I'm like, don't, ah, don't. I don't want to be smashed around the butt. Not by, not by a pig. So that was the island we went to. Yeah, that was the island we came from. Okay, fine. I just wanted to know where we were in the world. I do like the, the just the size of the raft, though. The size of the raft is huge. It is absolutely enormous. Uh... Well, just don't tell Greenpeace and we'll be okay. Um, it does look like you've got... Just like the Queen Anne's Revenge moored up in the bay. So we can make ourselves a lashing. Uh, we can do that. What we can then do is... Is uh, craft a crude axe. Now do we have... We don't have enough... Oh, that's what I wanted. I wanted... I wanted this, so we need to scroll down. So, oh, I don't want to make, make a crude hoe. It's one tool, and so we can make the tool on one lashing, one leather. And then we can make the refined axe. Da, 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 da. So, 14% durability and 100% with the one in my. Yes, 14 and, and 100%. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, if I drop the one that's fully. Uh, yeah, fully 100%. I can just whack that open, which is what I was going to do originally. Uh, have a little bit of water. You can only have one sip. Two sips will make you poo everywhere. And then break open the coconut so that we can get the coconut and the chocolate all together. Mmm. Delightful. Now, we won't heal yet because the water's not up. So we need three. And now we'll start healing that that tiny little bit of damage that uh, we got just just momentarily, about moments ago, momentarily. What it came and then it disappeared almost instantaneously. That's not quite how that works, old chum. Good. Ah, oh, if we could put a water still on here and gather water when it rains, that would be perfect. Unfortunately, you can't. Oh well, a water still and a little like um. A little grow thing, you could put a couple of grow things on the front, make potatoes, and a water still on the side, and then you have your sail, and then you'd have the ability to make... Oh, these could gather water. Oh, come on, beam team, get on it. Get on it. Then we could be true nomads of the seas. How beautiful would that be? We, we could be the we could be the flyy nomad -y people with our gyrocopter of love. Because we can't build a satellite of love, we just don't have the parts. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. Um, if you want notifications from YouTube, click the little bell. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, click the little bell. Or alternatively, just check the channel out from time to time because it's probably a safer way of knowing where the videos have gone up. And I tell you what, I'll catch you next time.